Well, welcome back to another edition of Open Air Atheist. I am James Theater Stillwell, and this is my third response to Ryan Dozier, Paul Kaiser, at uh, reformedevangelist.com, the Open Air Preachers. <clears throat> um, you would ask me a question, uh, Ryan, basically about how do I account for logic as an atheist? Uh, if we look at inductive arguments, we see that all inductive arguments rely on the uniformity of nature. I understand that. Um, if I make an inductive argument such as the sun has risen every day throughout history, as far as we know, therefore the sun will rise tomorrow. Uh, that's a highly probable uh, possibility, or you know, the sun could explode by some tiny chance, and take all of us with it tomorrow. If I go to the lab and do an experiment, how do I know that uh, the experiment will turn out the same way the next day. Uh, don't I need to uh, postulate a deity or believe in God, your God, in specific uh, in specifics in order to uh, account for logic? Um, maybe. Maybe I do. Um, but maybe I don't. Uh, because this argument is, is what is known as the God of the gaps. Whenever we don't have an explanation for something, uh, whenever science doesn't have an explanation, or I should say scientists don't have an explanation for something, uh, Christians, theists, uh, Muslims, whatever, just, you know, creationists, uh, intelligent designists, whatever, uh, plug in this God. God did it. Uh, well, I don't choose to do that. Um, if I don't have an explanation for something at the time, I just say, I don't know at the time. Maybe I'll know in the future. I'll keep looking. Um, because anything else is just not science. Um, so that's your answer about can I count for logic. Um, also, if God is the epitome of logic, or if he's the creator of logic, wouldn't we expect him to, in his revelation uh, called the Bible, wouldn't we expect the Bible to be coherent? Wouldn't we, wouldn't we expect it not to have any incoherencies, any uh, irrationalities or illogical, uh, you know, sh shouldn't we expect that of the Bible? Um, when you look and it says God is not a man, but in the New Testament, Jesus, who is supposedly God, uh, is a man. Um, we look in, the, in Malachi 3.6 and God says, uh, I'm the Lord your God, I change not. But yet we see Jesus abolishing some of the Old Testament laws. Um, we see in Acts, we see uh, now suddenly the Jews are allowed to eat, uh, you know, eat whatever they want. Uh, whereas before, uh, the Old Testament law said they couldn't eat pork. Uh, and now suddenly they're allowed to eat pork. Um, so God has suddenly changed his mind, but I thought he changes not. Um, so, I mean, uh, it's just, it's, it just seems ridiculous to me. Um, and, and not only that, the Bible is a very violent book. Um, you, you look at all the violence, you look at all the immorality, uh, Lot supposedly sleeps with his daughters. He goes up into this cave, and he sleeps with, he gets, they get him drunk, and the one daughter sleeps with, with the, with Lot, and he doesn't remember it, and then the next night it happens again, only it's his other daughter, I mean, come on, it's a little ridiculous, you mean to tell me they got him so drunk, twice in a row, okay, two times in a row, and suddenly they got him so drunk that he slept with his daughters, I don't think I'd buy that, um, I mean, there's a lot of far-fetched stuff in there that, I mean, come on. Um, God did miracles like parting the Red Sea and uh, turning water into wine, which is actually what some other pagan uh, myths had uh, done before Christ, uh, walking on water and, and, and these other things. And some of these other pagan myths had 12 disciples. Uh, so, I mean, I mean, you expect me to buy all this? Seriously. Um, Maybe you don't. Maybe you expect the Holy Spook to, uh, you know, do something to me to make me believe. Well, um, if that's true, then may he do it uh, so that I don't go to hell. But 
you know, other than that, I really have no logical reason to believe scripture, um, or what you call scripture. So, I mean, with that said, I, I don't, I think, um, I think when you're out there in a stool and you're saying, believe this book is written by God because it says it's written by God is a little too much to ask people to believe rationally. Uh, if they are rational, they're going to say, what, how do you, you know, how do you expect me to believe it was written by God? Because it says it was written by God. That's ridiculous. Um, it's not like there's a signature of God that says yours truly God. And it's like, wow, this is like the best signature I've ever seen or some way we could analyze and say, okay, well, God, you know, must have wrote this or could have wrote this. Uh, we don't see that. Um, so I'm just supposed to, to take it at this book's word um, minus all of the incoherencies in it. Uh, I'm just supposed to ignore those things. Uh, a talking snake. Come on, a talking snake, bro. A talking donkey. Axe heads floating. Uh, I mean, it's ridiculous. And then suddenly, nowadays, these things don't happen anymore. Right? I'm just supposed to buy that. You know, parting the Red Sea. These miracles just don't happen anymore in a time when we have uh, technology and stuff. Um, but suddenly now these things, these miracles don't happen anymore. Uh, it's just way far-fetched uh, for me to to grasp, uh, to cling on to, to believe, to trust in. Um, you know, at the most I could say, well, maybe. But very, very, very tiny, well, maybe. And, you know, I'm not saying this to to piss you guys off or any I'm just being honest I mean you guys are up there in a stool stating what you believe I'm here on YouTube stating what I believe I don't think there's anything wrong with that you don't have to agree with me I don't have to agree with you but I think we should respect each other and again you can push me in where I get my should from um, but I think I personally think that we should respect each other and I personally arbitrarily decide to respect you regardless of what you believe um, so you can respect that or not um, whatever but uh, in the future I hope that you guys will um, actually refute and comment and respond to my refutations uh, one of them that's already out as you know is on the Trinity uh, perhaps you could respond to that. That would be nice. Uh, refute. Refute me if you can. Look at my arguments. It's only about 10 minutes long. I mean, there's a grip of verses in there. Uh, but I'm sure that you can latch on every single one of those, analyze that, see if I'm taking anything out of context, whatever. And prove me wrong. Uh, prove me the last verse in, um, in Matthew chapter 2 actually exists in the Old Testament. Prove it's there. I'd like to see it because I've never seen it and I don't know of anybody who claims to have seen it. Uh, so, uh, you know, refute me. Don't put a hominin attacks and attack the person uh, rather than the person's beliefs, okay? Or anti beliefs. But actually attack my arguments. I don't think that's too much to ask. Alrighty then. Peace out.